now in windows 10 pro and windows 10 enterprises microsoft launched their uh, anti-spoofing feature so currently i am running on windows 10 pro as you seen here currently my windows edition is windows 10 pro means i am able to use the anti-spoofing feature so if you have windows 10 you are not able to use that one so if you have windows 10 pro or enterprises one then you are able to use that one so right click on the start and select the option run and then after enter the command gpedit.msc actually you are going to be use the group policy to enable this one so just enter the gpedit.msc and then after you need to be expand your config uh, your policy option so what you required you need to be go for the computer configuration and then after uh, actually you need to be go for the administrative templates sorry just just hang for me and then after in computer configuration go for the administrative templates then after go to the windows components and then after select the biometrics you have one option biometrics you need to be select the biometrics option select the biometrics option and then after double click on the facial features okay as you seen here in right pane side you have option to use enhanced nta spoofing when available so you by default it's not enabled so you need to be enable this one so double click on it and select the option enable by default it's not configured but you need to be enable this one so and then after apply and then ok means it's a too easy to use your anti spoofing feature in windows 10 and it's a really useful in case of preventing attacks on your windows pc and you, as you seen here these are some description for your anti spoofing feature in your windows 10 and you are easily able to use this one so hope you like my videos please subscribe thanks thanks for watching